it's Elenia, and in this video I am going to teach you my five top glute activation exercises to help lift that pancake booty. These are the same exercises that I still use to this day for all of my glute activation as well as the same exercises I teach my clients. Because guys, let's just be honest, um, I didn't pop out of the womb with no juicy booty. I gotta work for it. So get ready for these five bum building exercises. Oh, and I have a bonus tip for you, so stay tuned until the very end. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the like button. Let's go. and I'm so glad that you are here to watch me on my journey and help me on my journey as I help you guys on your journey so thank you thank you thank you I will be doing a 100 subscriber giveaway that's still gonna be in the works so we're so close I think we're like eight away so hopefully we can get there very quickly second I apologize for my appearance two days ago I went into anaphylactic shock from eating something that I don't know so my face is still really Puffy, but I am so behind on videos and I'll catch up on all that in another video But I just wanted to say that and my husband is asleep even though I'm still kind of being loud So this is why I'm in my office right now shooting this video. Anyways, no more rambling Let's go to the five the top five glute activation exercises. Let's just go before this warm-up, you are going to need booty bands, my favorite. And you can get them off Amazon. They usually come in a heavy, a medium, and a light. And you will just use the bands that work for you, whatever resistance you are at for whatever your fitness level is. Your next booty band essential will be a pair of ankle weights. You can also get these at your local store or you can order them online. Just make sure they have a Velcro strap so that you can tighten or loosen them around your ankles as needed. Glute activation exercise number one, booty band squats. Take your feet shoulder width apart. Push those knees out and place that band right above your knees. You're gonna wanna make sure you contract your glutes the entire exercise. Grab a penny, you are gonna squeeze and do not let that penny drop the entire exercise. Make sure you tilt those hips forward, sit back into those heels and hold on tight baby, squeeze those glutes. Glute activation exercise number two, we have booty band side steps. Place that band right above your knees. You wanna keep your feet wider than shoulder width apart. Lead with the glutes and lead with your heels, okay? Keep your shoulders back, nice tight core. You wanna make sure you're squeezing your abs and contracting the entire time. You don't wanna lean forward unless you wanna look like Quasimodo. <laughs> Glute activation exercise number three, donkey kick into fire hydrant combo. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is break it down. Starting off with your donkey kick, you wanna make sure you've got a neutral spine, don't arch your back, don't hunch your back, and you wanna flex that heel and bend your leg 90 degrees. I always tell my clients to think of holding a dinner plate on top of their foot. You don't wanna let it spill over, so you wanna make sure that you're nice and stable and you're flexing that heel. Then the same thing applies whenever you go into fire hydrant. You wanna bend your knees 90 degrees, continue to flex the heel. This time your dinner plate is sitting on top of your tailbone. Lead with the glutes. Pretend like you have no other part of your body. It's mind to muscle connection. So then we are going to take it and combine the move and we go into our flexed heel with our donkey kick and our flexed heel with our fire hydrant. Glute activation exercise number four, sideline clans. You're gonna make sure that you lie on your side and tilt your hips towards the floor. That booty band is right above your knee. You wanna lead with the glutes. Only activate with your glutes. Nothing else in your body is working right now. Okay, nice, slow, and controlled. Pause at the top. You're not Nelly. You ain't trying to drop down and get your ego on, okay? So keep it controlled and really squeeze those glutes. 
And last, but definitely not least, we have our booty band hip abductors. So I like to bring my leg forward so that I get a little bit more of an extension and I make sure that I've got soft knees. I do not lock my knees. Again, mind and muscle connection. Only your booty's working here. Okay, lift that hip up as high as you can and make sure that you are squeezing your abs all the way. Don't lean forward, don't lean over to the side. Stay nice and stable and lift the booty. Squeeze the booty. We are building the booty, okay? Remember, we ain't pop out with no juicy booty, so we gotta work for it. We're working. I promised you a bonus tip, so I am here to deliver. Today we are going to foam roll out our booty. Yes, this is super effective in helping stretch out and loosen up your muscles so that you can really fire up those glutes during those glute activation exercises. This movement is super awkward, really awkward. You look like that girl at the club, you know, who's had a little bit too much, but hey. And then I make it even more awkward by looking into the camera, so I, I don't even know. But yes, do this move. It's for the booty guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to keep up with more fit tips and tricks and watch my journey, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. And again, 400 subscribers. Oh, thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.